Hey folks, for this screencast, I'm going to tell you how to mount a Linux partition, an external hard drive. So I've got an external hard drive sitting off camera over here. It's a uh, Toshiba 750 gigabyte hard drive, and I used to use it for Linux, and so it's it's uh, formatted to ext4, which is sort of a journaling format for Linux. Um, it doesn't work well with Windows, but Windows has done, you know, a lot of strides to try to get them to communicate. So what I found out is that if you download, I have my cheat sheet over here. If you download something called PowerShell, you can uh, run this as administrator. And so if you don't have it, you can go ahead and download it. You can run this as an administrator. It's going to ask you if that's okay. And then it's going to pull up this uh, little menu here. And so again, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to see if I can zoom in, maybe. Hmm, control, uh, control, zoom. Haha, <laughs> yes. Okay, and then let's resize it. There we go. Okay, so you can kind of see that over there. And I'm going to move my video over here so you can see what's going on. So basically, when you first power up PowerShell, you want to do a WSL-install. And that's going to install this huge like Windows Linux environment. And I don't actually know what WSL stands for, but I'm sure you could Google that and figure that out. And anyway, once that installs, you'll reboot your computer. And then you're going to run this. You're going to plug in your hard drive. So you're going to install WSL, restart your computer, plug in your external hard drive. And then you're going to run this command, get sim instance dash query select star from, oops, star from. Win32 disk disk drive. Okay, and then it's going to go through there, and you're going to see here. I'm going to maximize this. There is, let me run it again. There is a physical drive too. There's the Toshiba external USB drive. It's got one partition. That's a 750 gigabyte uh, drive, and the model is this Toshiba external. What I need to know is this physical drive too. The other two drives are my, uh, I've got a, a, hard, a SSD drive on the computer. That's this one here. And then I also have an external, um, an external drive as well. Um, well, not an external drive. It's like my computer has an SSD and a SATA, if that makes sense. Anyway, so once I know the physical drive, I'm then going to do a WSL dash dash mount slash slash dot slash physical drive and again i'm going to change that number to two because i ran that sim instance command and then i'm going to do dash dash partition one and then dash dash type ext4 again this is for you know the journaling format drives i'm going to hit enter and if everything's working correctly i'm doing this on the fly the disk was successfully mounted at slash mount wsl and so the neat thing is, is if i go over here to uh, Windows Explorer, you'll see here over on the left, once you do the WSL dash dash install, oops, I want to click this video and move it over. So when, once you do the WSL dash dash install, it will install this Linux drive. And if you click Ubuntu and give it a minute to access it, remember it said it was installed at slash mount WSL and physical drive. And there you go. There are all of my files um, in there. If you want to do stuff in PowerShell, you should be able to head over to, I think it's WSL-localhost, no, um, slash slash, sorry. So CD slash slash WSL.localhost, um, and then slash Ubuntu, and there you go. There's the drive that we were just in. So again, that's WSL. I should probably put that in my in my cheat sheet. You know, to access drive in PowerShell, type cd slash slash WSL dot local host slash Ubuntu slash WSL. Sorry, slash mount slash and then what was after it? CD mount and then WSL, there you go, slash WSL, slash physical drive, and then the number, where again, the number is the, uh, so if I do physical drive two, oh, actually, it's physical drive two, and then 
P number where the first number is the drive number and then the P the number after the P is the partition. But yeah, there's all of my folders right there. And again, I keep moving my video back and forth. This is just kind of where we're at. So that means you couldn't see anything that I was typing, but um, all I did was just type in some CD commands just to tell me where I was. And then um, I hit LS. And yeah, you can see um, all of the videos I hear here we have here. Or sorry, all of the files that I have on my external hard drive. Anyway, if we uh, back out to the C drive, you can then type in wsl.unmount slash slash dot slash physical drive and then the number i got to put that in my cheat sheet number two and then over here type in two and it should say the operation completed successfully i can go ahead and unplug my external hard drive and uh, here it is just so you know i wasn't just making stuff up here's the hard drive unplugged and that's it. I think that's pretty easy peasy. It did take me a long time to figure this out. So hopefully this helps you if you're doing like Linux and Windows stuff. Um, I will probably just buy a new hard drive. Uh, I've actually already maxed this out. I have, uh, it's completely full. So I will probably buy a terabyte hard drive and I'll just format it to FAT32 or NTFS just to make sure that, uh, you know, I don't have to deal with that communication between the two. But if you happen to have an external drive, that is only for Linux in an external journaling format, uh, you can use PowerShell and WSL to access it. All right, I'll see you all in the next video.